Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at Amarok Village, which is a village I've created in Planet Zoo for Frontier's Winter Sanctuary Contest. This is my submission, and I'm going to be giving you a little history on this village. So the Great Amarok was a god in Greenlandic mythology. He is said to have stalked and devoured any person fool enough to hunt alone at night. Unlike wolves who generally hunt in packs, the Great Amarok hunted alone and was never seen with any other wolf. In the early 2000s in Greenland, orca orcas began to be hunted to be used as food. They were used for food for humans as well as sled dogs um, due to shortages and importing costs of bringing in food from other places. Amrock Village being a small hunting village was one of the main locations off the coast of Greenland where you could find um, hunt people hunting orcas. This was only until 2011 when a pack of wild arctic wolves arrived in the village and they killed all the residents. It is believed these wolves were there to protect the orcas. However, due to climate change from global warming, the ice road connecting Amarok village to the mainland was destroyed, leaving the wolves stranded there. Stories began floating around the neighboring communities that there was something special about these wolves, but what could it be? Well, someone had witnessed them glowing at night. From beneath their fur, there was a glow. So people began visiting Amarok village at night, and sure enough, the stories were true. Once the sun went down, the wolves began to glow. They couldn't believe their eyes. Their fur was shining. It was glowing. But could it be true? It had to be. These wolves must be descendants from their god, the Great Amarok. The residents got together and secured Amarok Village, ensuring there would be no dangers entering the village. They didn't want any more fishermen, hunters, poachers, or anything having access to this pack of wolves. They wanted these wolves to be protected. They would take turns visiting and delivering food and supplies for the pack, and even hired a vet to visit every few months to ensure none of the wolves had any health concerns. After a few years of doing so, funds were running dry, and they were unsure of how they would be able to sustain taking care of these creatures. That's when they decided to open it up to the public and create a conservation area. Now, guests can visit and view the pack from a safe distance. There are donation bins placed around the area, and it's highly suggested and welcomed for people to give donations in order to help this pack. There's also educational materials around the area educating guests on who the who this pack is how they're descendants from the great amarok as well as information on their god the great amarok himself these are this is a very special pack of wolves and the neighboring community residents just want to ensure that everybody is aware of this Currently, the conservation efforts are going well, and they're bringing in enough money to keep the place going, keep the wolves happy and healthy, and start sanctuary on the mainland to help all other animals in the area. Now, back to reality. So, this is my contest entry. I hope you guys like it. I tried to think outside of the box with this one. I looked up some different areas where Arctic wolves reside and when I found Greenland I thought you know what this is going to be a good one looking up Greenland images you see a lot of colorful houses they're small they're up on stilts I just really like the aesthetic um, and the look of the coast of Greenland with all the colorful houses so I thought I'd take a stab at doing that and created this habitat for arctic wolves um, they have everything they need there's food there's enrichment items hidden in everywhere so that which also gets them to interact with the different buildings that are in there. We've created one of the houses, which is the keeper entrance for that, so that it doesn't look like and feel like a regular zoo or typical zoo or anything like that. This really is an exhibit and habitat that is about the animals. Um, the Arctic wolves have a cave, which is where you get the closest interaction between humans and the wolves. Um, there is a colorful townhouse that's been converted so that people can walk through there and uh, view the wolves, um, get their education, read a little bit of history about the wolves, and so on, and also see the wolves glow. Um, so that being said, this is uh, my submission, and I hope you guys like it. Thank you!